The IQ system controller is an important part of the Enphase system, and if an issue arises, it needs to get corrected as quickly as possible. This video will guide you through the process of troubleshooting the IQ system controller when the installer portal shows the event message of system controller PV breaker open. When you're monitoring your customer's system in the installer portal and run across an event with the status of system controller PV breaker open, you'll need to send a technician to the site to troubleshoot the issue. This video will guide you through the troubleshooting steps to find the root cause of the issue and correct it. So what kinds of things can be incorrect that would contribute to that error message? There's a few things that can potentially cause this. The first is if the combiner box's output conductors are wired directly to the system controller's PV breaker on the bus bar. The second scenario could be if the L1 and L2 conductors coming from the combiner box are swapped on the PV input terminals of the system controller. The third scenario may be if the site was commissioned in the last two to three days, the PV breaker might be left open from commissioning. Finally, there may be a breaker that is tripped, is damaged or defective. Let's begin to check each of these scenarios and correct the issue. While on site, check that the conductors coming from the output lugs of the Enphase IQ combiner box or your custom PV combiner box are wired to the PV input lugs at the bottom of the system controller and not wired to directly to the PV breaker. Verify the correct wire location with the label below the input lugs. If you find issues with the wiring, turn off the affected devices, correct the wiring issues and power back on. Be sure to power down the system controller by following the steps in the video linked on the screen. The proper shutdown sequence must be followed to not introduce new issues or damage equipment. If there was no issues found with the location of the landed conductors, make sure that the L1 and L2 conductors from the combiner box are landing in the correct input lugs at the bottom of the system controller. The black L1 conductor lands on the left lug and the L2 red conductor lands on the right lug, as shown in the images. If you find issues with that part of the wiring, turn off the affected devices, correct the wiring issues, and then power back on. The third thing to check would be the PV breaker on the main bus of the system controller. If the site was commissioned in the last two to three days, the breaker might have been left open, which is the off position of the breaker. Verify that the breaker is in the on position. Finally, check the PV breaker that sits on the system controller's bus bar. Check to see if the breaker is tripped. Reset the breaker if it's been tripped. If it hasn't tripped, power down the system controller by following the steps in the video linked on the screen. The proper shutdown sequence must be followed to not introduce new issues or damage equipment. Once the system controller no longer has power, pull the PV breaker from the bus bar and inspect it for damage and replace if needed. If there's no visible damage you can test the breaker to see if it's bad. If it's bad, replace the breaker. If none of those things correct the issue, contact the Enphase customer support to further instructions. Thanks for watching another video from the Enphase training team.